Everybody, today we got a lovely guest, and I would say he is definitely the heart of Toy Story. And introducing all and one only John Morris. Hi, John. Hello. How are you? It's lovely to meet you. Uh, and you have voiced Andy Davis for throughout the Toy Story films. Andy's definitely been a long uh, part of your life. In and for everyone else, like. I always say for he's sort of like the heart of the toys in the whole time movies. Um yes, absolutely. What's amazing about these films is that they basically have kind of run in real time. And so just as I've grown up voicing Andy, of course, all the fans have grown up. And now when I go to events um and Comic Cons and things, I meet, you know, whole families of fans. And everyone knows the movies, the grandparents, the parents, the kids, the grandkids, you know, um, and it's just incredible. It's crazy yeah. um, how Toys would impact to many, many people's childhoods and life. And I definitely swear they real that toys are real because I was like trying to play that game and see if the door closes if they ever move. But I, yeah, I think-, I think we've all played that game. <laughs> <laughs> well... My first question would be, is how did you get the role of Andy? Yeah, so I was six years old. I had just sort of started acting, and there was an open call for Andy. And they said, um, you know, bring your favorite toy to the audition. And I brought all my X-Men figures, so about 30 figures, because that, to me, was one toy. (laughs) And my mom said, that's too many toys. And I said, no, I need them all so I can play with them all. And when I got into the audition, I literally just like dropped them on the floor and just started playing with all of them (laughs) and doing all the voices of all the mutants, you know, Storm and Professor X and Wolverine. (laughs) And they later told me the creative team at Pixar, that's what Andy does. That's how Andy plays, you know? And so I think they really saw Andy in that. And then, you know, subsequent auditions and callbacks I read from the script and, and then, you know, finally, I was the lucky one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I can see, like, Andy, um, especially Andy's definitely been this, the, the imagination of the toys as well. Like, I remember, like, watching the first, I think they did this in Toy Story 3, where when they were playing, reacting to Andy's play from the first movie, it was so cool, because, like, a science fiction Western. I would kind of think you must have watched, like, all kind of western films and james bond or <laughs> anything like that but um yeah absolutely i mean um andy must have watched a lot of things growing up i definitely watched a lot of things growing up i've always been a film fan and um and you're absolutely right that the sci-fi genre comes in the western genre comes in and that's the genius of you know kind of the pixar creative team to kind of weave all that in so when you probably get this question a lot and I, is i was curious so who is your favorite toy like is it buzz or woody yes it's it is hard to pick because i like them both um but i i will say that uh woody has a special place in my heart just because he's andy's original favorite toy and the kind of the first one on the bed and um I have him right here, actually. Oh, nice. <laughs> um, and yeah, so I think I think Woody has kind of a special place as that kind of like OG, um, you know, original favorite toy. Oh, Buzz has always been my favorite because it was yeah. because I think I've I think I've got Buzz for my first gift from my, as yes. when I was a 
probably like I was like a toddler. And then I always had it with me, like I'm going like to school or in the car. I remember the leg broke. I was so disappointed. <laughs> but I still yeah. did. No, I mean, Buzz is very cool too. And he kind of represents like new getting a new toy and like the excitement around that. And, um, you know, I know some people like, you know, kind of like space over Western and, you know, it's <laughs> it really, it's like whatever you're drawn to. I, I, I just think Buzz and Winnie is such a dynamic uh, duo. Like they just fit together yeah. because it's two opposites and I think what really yes. works is and um, it's just amazing because the completely two opposite characters and you never really think a spaceman and a cowboy would fit together so well and uh, to me it's like hard to see a film about Buzz or Woody um because I remember like the Buzz Lightyear Star Command series came out during yes. the cartoons and I used to like wonder where's Woody like in the in the cartoons but it's all about Buzz's adventures so I still love to see yeah. You're like, right. It's there's kind of like a power of contrast with the two of them that makes it really dynamic. In Toy Story Three, and when obviously you gave the toys to Bonnie, mm -hmm. what would you what would you think Andy would do with the toys if they actually stayed? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I mean, you recall in Toy Story Three that Andy kind of wanted them to go in the attic. Yeah. Um, but I think he would always want to keep at least Woody, you know, with him as we kind of saw in Toy Story 3 too. Yeah. I think if he did bring Woody to college, um, you know, I think he'd put him in a really special place, like probably a place he could see him, like maybe on over his desk or something. And I don't think he'd let people like yeah. touch him, play with them. Like I think he, <laughs> he, Woody would really stay there. Um, and would just kind of be a, a companion to him. I always kind of theorize the toys would kind of, if Annie did have kids, mm -hmm. or I've always kind of was curious if maybe like they would be passed on to their kids in the future or something like that. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think you're, you're totally right. If we, um, you know, Andy's mom says in Toy Story 2, uh, you know, she says, oh, that's that's an old family toy, you know, to to about Woody at the garage sale. And I think they're definitely a family where they pass down those like special family heirlooms. You're, I absolutely agree with you. And I, I do think, um, you know, Andy would would do the same. And so it's interesting. Um, it's interesting to kind of think about. Uh, you know, the toys and where Toy Story 4 went with with Bonnie and that kind of adventure. And um, but absolutely, the the toys are, you know, are very important, almost like family members or, you know, close friends. Did you ever had a uh, a related kind of situation with Andy? Like, did you kind of have a song in your life where you related to Andy? Definitely. Um, you know, Andy, Andy is a good He's a good kid. He's a good person. He has a good heart. And I was always raised, you know, I was raised to be a good person. <laughs> and um, he's very close to, you know, his mom and younger sibling, which also applies to me. You know, um, I have a younger sibling and an older sibling. I'm very close with my mom. And so I, I always related to him that way. And obviously he's much more, um, you know, he's much kinder and and gentler than obviously Sid or, <laughs> you know, other, other, um, other kids. So, um, yeah, I, I always related to him. If there was one location you would ever visit in the Toy Story world and just pretend it's all, I know like Disneyland and stuff kind of done it, but if, if you were in the Toy Story world, which location would you like, which place would you go? You know, I would definitely want to go to Pizza Planet. Yes, it's just, <laughs> first of all, I like pizza. Who doesn't like pizza? Um, but also, it's just such a cool place. Um, and I just, I love uh, that scene, you know, in um, when Andy goes with his family and you're just like, oh my gosh. <laughs> um, and of course, the claw. And you oh, know, it's yes. just, I would, it would just be so cool to experience, you know?
Oh my god! I could, I was since I watched that scene because I remember watching on VHS the first Toy Story, yeah. and I used to rewind it, rewind it, rewind it all the time after school. And I was like, "Oh my god! I want to go to Pizza Planet!" And it's just like it just looks so amazing because they made you like from the toy scale. It's just such a giant like space theme park. Absolutely. Did you ever play the video games like from you know from the SNES to the Toy Story two? Oh, well, I have, yeah, and I. I have um not in a while but I remember playing them at a at a friend's house yeah So did you did you also I think you did the voice with Andy or how did it kind of work so did you have to like do separate voices in like for the TV commercials and the games or do you, do you like do all at one kind of time to do it or So um we would each record individually so we had our individual recording sessions and then um, sometimes they would take kind of clips from the films for, uh, you know, video games and things. And then sometimes I would record specifically for that project. Um, I also uh, voiced Andy for um, Disney on Ice. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. Fun. So like and I sang You've Got a Friend in Me. And then when Andy, you know, um, had a few lines in that, which was really fun to go with my family to the arena and, you know, watch Disney on ice and fun to hear myself. <laughs> that must be, that must be crazy. Like, do you ever get kind of recognized like the voice of Andy? Because obviously like from when you were growing up or anything or from your yeah, school? Yeah, I, especially with Toy Story 3, I think my voice sounds, you know, most, you know, closely now my voice sounds like um andy in toy story 3 and um I, sometimes people say gosh you do sound familiar or do i know you or <laughs> and then once i mention that oh my gosh yes that's it <laughs> now there is an announcement of toy story 5 what do you what do you think of that you know i'm excited about it um i'm really excited and um i think it it'll be exciting to see where that goes and I know, you know, a lot of fans have shared with me a lot of different <laughs> theories and things. And so I think we all just need to stay tuned. Have you seen Lightyear? I did. Yeah, I did see Lightyear. Um, I enjoyed it. I know. Yeah, I loved it. Yeah, I know there was a little bit of confusion uh, over the voicing of Buzz yeah. and, you know, and such, um, which I understand. But um, I, I really enjoyed it. And I, I love when it. I love when films kind of go into like those origin stories and yeah. there's like that deeper dive. Um, like we were talking about Toy Story 2 earlier and um, before the interview and um, that, you know, goes into Woody's origin story. And I think it's just so exciting when you kind of like take those deeper dives. I definitely would love a spin off of Woody as well. Like mm -hmm. can you imagine a Western like, I don't know how, like, even a TV series do, like, an origin story of Woody and how he became the sheriff and the parts and make a proper Western. I think that would be such a... Oh, yeah, that would be great. Agreed. I've got a, one question from a subscriber. Talk Film 2586 asks, are you friends with Tom Hanks? Oh, <laughs> that's a great question. Um, I wouldn't say that we're friends. However, I have met him a few times. Um, at the premieres and um, we've had you know kind of short but memorable conversations um, I I think I did so I definitely talked with him at Toy, the Toy Story 4 premiere and then I talked with him briefly at the at the other premieres as well and just a nice moment of recognition you know oh Woody and Andy and <laughs> You know, he's kind of like, oh, the first time he was like, oh, so you're Andy. Oh, nice. You know, so great to meet you. And um, so that, I mean, it's always fun to go to the premieres. And that's when we, all the cast gets together and we take a group photo. Because as I mentioned, we all record individually. And so don't really get to see everyone um, until that moment. And I think probably my last question would be, is what is your favorite Toy Story film? Like of all oh. films. <laughs> <laughs> it's a difficult one but it is a difficult one because i'm i voiced andy and i'm also a fan of the movies and a fan of disney pixar um you know i'd have to say it's a tie i can't pick one but i'm gonna say toy story and toy story three 
because Toy Story was the original, and it was groundbreaking, as we all know, um, as the first feature-length animated film created with computers. And then Toy Story 3, for me, that final scene with Bonnie was just so emotional to record, and it was really meaningful. And I had more acting training by that time because I was out of college and I went to college for acting. And um, so for me, I would, yeah, I'd, I'd have to say Toy Story and Toy Story 3. I, I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Thank you so much, John, for, for your time. And, Thank and, you. And, uh, you. and being our special guest. Um, this is Boda Production and John Morris. And see you guys soon. <laughs>